Welcome back. Thanks for joining. I'm here in the Porsche 917 Living Legend at the Le Mans track for five laps, battling it out with GT7 AI. I am on full attack because I want to win. Don't we all? We all want to get that top step, first place, gold trophy, no holes barred, take all at the end of the race. But it's the AI, so let's see how we do. And the only thing I've done to this car is adjusted the fuel trim so it's not at full capacity as far as power output. But as you will see, it's still no slouch. Rock and Rizzo, yo, let's go. comfort zone where you think you can do anything or at least there are times when I thought I could do anything and pushed it a little bit too hard but like I said fortunately I dialed the power back some so I kind of reduced the risk of a total wreck or waste of drive time but these AIs man you know the drill they are constantly up your tailpipe bashing you if you give them the chance so my goal most of the time is to get past them and far away as possible most of the time but I'll talk about it later I won't, I won't spoil it now but I try and keep a safe distance from the AI you'll see why if you haven't played already you'll, you'll see why in a couple of laps driving the Mazda, but I like listening to it, it's cool. Anyway, I worked my way up to 12th place at this point, and we're at the beginning of lap two. Yeah, I also try and get a clean race bonus, but I think I understand how you can not get that bonus by A, running off the track, or B, the most obvious one, is making contact with other cars and there's a couple of times where I do a little bit of both <laughs> couldn't be helped so yeah but it's always a nice little plus to get that 50% oh no let's go bye bet bye Beamer M6 that's a good handling car too 
by R8, another one of my favorites. Now up to seven. And when the road is clear, just let it rip. any car you go for a ride off the black stuff so here we are lap two and I make a decision got three laps to go what do I do do I push for first now but in this race you have to make a pit stop so I decide to do something a little different maybe uh, not too aggressive but I want to see what the AI does so I'm sure the AI has a couple of different strategies for when to pit and what kind of tires and how much fuel yada yada but right now since there's three laps to go I figure I'd, you know roll the dice and go f not go for a ride but learn from the ones and O's see what they're going to do ones and zeros zeros and ones and one This is a cool track, by the way. If you haven't driven Le Mans, it's a long track, a lot of straights, but it's also technical, a fast and technical track. So it's one of my favorites where you can let it rip in the long straights, but you also have to navigate those twisties and stay on track and stay in position. So here we're coming up towards the end of lap two, and I'm in fifth place. Not bad, you know moved up 15 places so I decided to follow the AI into the pits it took me a while to figure out how the pit stops work and yeah that STI rear-ended me here's my trusty pit crew rolling out bring out those tires yeah I want a new set and this part always drives me crazy pit stops take so long it's so long auntie what are you doing auntie auntie move move like where's my car there's supposed to be a timer up at the top that shows okay here I am so I, I've already uh, fallen down into eighth place and I opted for tires mediums and they are I also want some fuel because three laps to go and I'm hauling tail so give me some juice and we're out pit out and you notice I dropped to 15th place from 5th to 15th it's just I don't know. There's got to be some something I'm missing. Hopefully, I'll figure it out. If anybody knows, drop it in the comments. But yeah, the pit stops are ridiculous. So I've been avoiding those 10 lap races and whatnot. But got no choice. I'm going to start doing them. You know, the 30 minute races, the 10 lap races, because just grinding in the same stuff is yeah, you get tired of grinding. It's monotonous. Anyway, so here I am, down in 15th, third lap. Bases loaded. We're going to punt, bunt, spin, head spin, back spin. There's that monster again and the BMW. And yeah, we're just trading paint.
it. Can I say it? Bye bye, STI. <laughs> All right. So one of the things that I meant to say from the beginning was that the Porsche 917 Living Legend is not a real car. It's strictly a ones and zeros exercise. I don't know what the specs are for this. If it, you know, if they, well, in GT7, you know, it's not a whole lot of information on this, but it's not a real car. So, there. But it's still fun to drive, so there's that. So I think what's happening with this car is that it's trying to go into the pit and it's not. The AI is not accounting for me being there that whole time. So sorry. Yes. Anyhow, up in fifth place and yeah, so this was a fun race. If you can't tell, it was a blast with this car. This car actually probably shouldn't even be allowed to race with GT3 cars, but you let me, so I did. Thank you very much. something there's a couple of dials the dial to the left is the G meter it tells how much how many G's well it doesn't say how many G's uh, numerically it shows how many G's graphically in the direction that the G's are being pulled to the center we have the shifter what gear the car is in at the time and in case you're wondering this car has a sequential shifter so when you hear that clunk 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 that is the gears being changed and to the right oh, another best sector time uh -huh. okay so the dial to the right is the last lap time so th those are a couple of cool features that are here it's like a heads-up display there see the g is going crazy because i'm hitting brake excel brake excel and hard right you see the gauge is coming up by hand but there, and you can see on the acceleration, uh, and I'm talking about the dial on the left. Uh, sector time in purple, purple sector. Let's go!
in second place, and I'm on the hunt for the first place car, obviously, because I want to win. I want gold. I want that big prize credit of 160 credits, 160,000 credits. And yeah, on the graphic, the map graphic to the top right, and that's what happened. On the, on the graphic to the top right, the first place car disappears. It just went into the pit. And actually, while I was doing this, my fastest lap, boom. I, was, I wasn't aware. I wasn't really paying attention. I was so focused on driving and staying on the road that I didn't even notice that the car, first place car, went into the pit. So, hey, I'm in first place. Last lap. Le Mans, let's go. And it, one of the things I do, I have to say, is that when I get to first place, I'm a little cautious of, I don't want to lose it. Because if you've had one of those races before where you're doing really good, but you just get overly aggressive like you've seen me do before, the car goes off the track, and then the next thing you know, 10 cars rush past you, and all that work you did, goes up in smoke right and being that this is the last lap I'm still pushing it but I'm pushing it so carefully that I don't want to lose this because I don't want to do another I don't want to do this race again if I don't have to if I want to yeah sure I'll do it <laughs> probably not but I don't want to do all this work again to be honest I'd rather put that work into a new track a new race and move on with my life thank you tend to be more cautious on the turns is because now we're at three laps on this set of tires, right? And I've been pushing fairly hard. So it's not just being cautious because I'm afraid of losing place. But the thing that GT7 does do is that your, your tires will wear out and you won't know your tires have worn out until, guess what? You're off the track and you have to recover, right? So being that I haven't gone this distance on these tires before, I'm a little cautious because, again, I don't want to get a surprise that, hey, your tires are shot. And I am not taking another pit stop right now, not at lap five. I'm not going to have happen to, you know, this happened to Lewis Hamilton in one of those F1 races a couple of years ago where he was leading the race. And Toto Wolf called him in at the last minute and made him pit. and. Guess what? He didn't win the race because they had him pit at the 11th hour. So, uh, lesson learned from someone else's misfortune. But I'm not going to do that here, even though it's just a game. I'm just playing. And you can see my sector times have gone down. So, either it's due to me being cautious or my tires are shot and I'm not getting that grip that I was used to earlier on or it's a combination of both so I'd rather err on the side of caution and keep my wheels on the track thank you very much it's been real thanks for watching again and where's that checkered flag where's that checkered flag show me the flag